Missouri Mearsham's Great Dane. Get out those old records, those old phonograph records, the ones we used to play so long ago. What if they sound scratchy? The tunes really were catchy, and especially those that said, I love you so. I used to beg you over and over just to set the wedding day. To get you portable, I'd bring my portable and melt your heart away with all the... So, a blend of black cavendish with notes of cherry and vanilla. Initial light was just some of that classic black cavendish sweetness with some vanilla. Match was like blazing. Tad bit of cherry deep in the background. Uh, not medicinal at all. Very, very fleeting. So there was some vanilla, that kind of black Cavendish sweetness. Had a bit of cherry on the finish. Hmm. Moisture was pretty wet uh, in the pouch. Give you a shot of the pouch here. So far, cool burning. Tad chemical. Not bad. Just, I mean, ever so slightly there. But cool burning. So, I'll smoke this down and come back to you with the final thoughts on Missouri Mearsham's Great Dane. So, about halfway through Missouri Mearsham's Great Dane, excuse me, and um, the patio note, like right now what I'm smelling, is really good. Um, kind of a mix of 1Q with a little bit of uh, extra like lame BCA added. So very nice for, uh, patio note. A little bit of caramel there. Taste. This is where <sighs> if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that I like the um, Codger blends probably the best um, second for second place it, it pretty much kind of depends really on the, and it is kind of becoming the weather for me um, I like Virginia's and then English's and the Virginia you know but pretty much the codger blends the half and halves the velvets the Sir Walters those are my go-to those are my my love right um, and then I have a few of, of these type of aromatics smattered in there, Trout Stream being one. Um, I had made an earlier video, and I don't remember what video that is, but I made the comment that a lot of the modern day aromatics all kind of taste the same. And this is one of those that if you don't have a really good palate, you'll get sweetness. And you'll definitely get vanilla. But the caramel and the cherry, to me, are so far in the background that you're probably not going to pick it up, especially for a newer smoker, which someone who typically wants to try aromatics are typically new. Not always. 
um, Corvette Jim. Uh, if you guys don't know who he is, um, check him out. But he's an aromatic guy for the most part. He really likes aromatics, and he's been having those for years. So he would probably be able to detect uh, the, the tiny nuances in this blend. But Great Dane to me is very similar to many of the other um, aromatic offerings, modern day aromatic offerings of today. So you could, <sighs> Trout Stream is a little fuller, but the profile is similar. Um, trying to think of uh, another one. I mean, there's so many that are, that are similar to this. Even 1Q, very similar to this. 1Q in my opinion. Um, <laughs> as I breathe in. <laughs> so, if we're a nuanced uh, blend, it's good. Uh, I'm going to give it a C plus. Um, but I'm detracting some points for me just because I feel like it is very similar and right in the race with a ton of other blends that you can get. Now, I am enjoying it tonight in a Medico um, Metalist, I believe. No, VFQ, my fault. Medico VFQ. Uh, and I know these are, are probably blended for corn cob pipes, but um, I just wanted a Medico tonight. So, um, that may have some, some bearing on it, and I may retry it in, in a cob. I'm not going to get rid of it, um, but I probably won't buy more of it. So, But if you like basically um, the Lane BCA or Lane 1Q, those guys, if you really dig that stuff, this is very similar with a little bit of cherry and a little bit of caramel kind of that comes in and out. Um, I got some nuttiness from the Burley once, and that was really only when I kind of had to freight train it a little bit more. Um, you really, the toppings pretty much sublimate the, the tobacco throughout of it. So if you're, if you're a, a tobacco taste lover, I'm not going to do it for you. But if you like the toppings and you like some of that stuff and you're, and you're into the aromatics and the patio note was really good, go for it. So that was a gunshot, uh, sound of freedom. Anyway, so number two. So if you guys like this first impression of Missouri Meerschaum's Great Dane. Please hit the like and subscribe button. We appreciate your support on the channel. <clears throat> and we will come back with another uh, review or video very soon. Take care, guys.